So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a segmented control. This is going to be quite useful if you have new or existing uh, users when you log in and you want to show two different forms or two, two different views. Uh, this is going to help you out a lot. So we're going to start off by creating a new project. So select iOS and single view application. Give this project a name. I call mine segmented control. I've got my organization identifier. Make sure you select Swift UI, not storyboard, and the language is Swift. From there, I'm just going to save that to my desktop. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Just close these sections resume and select my device. I just want to pick an iPhone 13 so it looks a little bit more modern than an iPhone touch and then that should come up and then we can get started. First thing we're going to do is, is copy my full struct. We're going to have three different views, the main content view. I'm going to form one and we're going to have form two. Uh, so I'm just going to format this first form and then from there we can uh, duplicate that as well. So I'm going to create a V stack Inside that, there'll be a text view, which will just say, hello, form one. And I'll do a little bit of formatting on that V stack, set the minimum width. And we'll set the max width to whatever the boundary is, minus a little bit, just to make sure it comes off our margins. Uh, minimum height, I'll just set to a static value. Okay, then we can set the font to a large title, set the background color, and use this bar color, it's kind of like a light gray. And then I'll set the cording radius, just have a little bit of style on that. So as I mentioned, that I can copy this. I'm going to make it a second one and I'm going to call that form two. Make sure you change your text as well. Okay, so now I've got two views which will be able to be displayed inside my segmented control once I get that up and running. Oops, just spelt min width wrong, capital W. Okay, we're up and running. So inside my main content view, I could call form one. Uh, sorry, form view one. And then if I resume, I should show you what I've just created. Zoom it out a little bit. Okay, I could do one, two, and show the different ones. So I'm going to create a segment to control, which will allow us to flick between these two different views. So let's start off with the properties for our content view. We create a state. This will be what is actually selected. So which of the segmented controls have we selected. So I'm going to set it by default to new. And then I'm also going to create my options, which will cycle through in our segmented control. So this will be new and existing to present our two options. If you want three options, you can add that as well, and it will just increase your segmented control. I'm going to try and make this as dynamic as possible. So then with inside my view, we can start with a V stack, as we commonly do for our Swift UI views. I can then add my picker, and my picker is a segmented control, it's just styled slightly different. Then we can create our selection binding. And this is just going to use our whatever we've chosen, so it's going to set that state uh, when we select the picker item. Then we create a closure for the picker. And this is where we're going to cycle through our different options. So for each option. So again, this option is coming from where I stated it on line 12. And then the ID will just be itself. We haven't defined this. And then we can grab that item and display it within the text. Okay, so that's where that option comes from line 12. And finally, we just need to do our styling. So we're going to use our dot notation on the picker. We're going to set the picker style to segmented. Also set the frame width, similar to what we did with our other frames, but slightly larger. So the frame width minus 50. And then we'll give that a run to test. 
And so far we just have those two buttons which we can toggle between, but it's not actually showing that form. So that's our next stage. We're going to now create some logic using our selection, uh, the my selection. So we say if my selection is existing, then we want to show the text value and we'll display the form as well. So that form view that we just created and then else we're going to do the opposite. So I'll just copy and paste that down, change that to number two. So I'm going to give this run actually in the simulator so you can see it. So now we have our completed form. So obviously you would build this up to actually have a different form within there so you can process your existing and your new users.